This is a well that we visited that we were taking a water sample at, which I would then take back to the lab and test for fluoride and also test for pH. Access to safe drinking water is a global problem for nearly a billion people. For about 200 million, many in Africa, high levels of naturally occurring fluoride in the water causes disfiguring dental and skeletal disease. Dental fluorosis is a darkening or modeling of the teeth. There's sort of a social stigma attached to it, maybe a, a poverty stigma. Skeletal fluorosis is much more physically debilitating. With support from the National Science Foundation, University of Oklahoma environmental scientist Laura Brunson is on the case. She's developing fluoride filtering devices that use cheap materials readily available right there in the villages, like charred animal bones or charred wood. During recent field work in Ethiopia, she and her team set up their lab in the bathroom of a local guest house and started experimenting. Are there things we can add or ways we can alter the bone char either through some sort of oxidation process or through adding something like aluminum to the material that would make it even more effective. Brunson says many water projects in developing countries fail for obvious reasons. Money runs out or machinery breaks down. Of the seven or eight communities we visited, there only were maybe two that were actually functioning as far as treatment systems. But equally important, she says, are cultural factors, figuring out how to get the community behind a water filtering project. The team talked to a lot of people and asked a lot of questions. How do you use water? Where do you get it from? What do you think about the current treatment system? Is there something you would prefer to have? Brunson, who also teaches in the College of Business, says getting communities committed to water treatment could also be a money-making opportunity for local people. If you can set up a business so that the char that you're selling that's helping people get treated water is making enough money that you can be self-sustaining, then you can keep going. Science and local entrepreneurship coming together to make affordable, safe water available to millions. What a clean, clear idea. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.